has been said that quality is never an accident. It is always the result of intelligent effort. And the first time you pick up the new CZ805 brand PS1, right up front what will strike you is the quality. The fit and finish of the entire gun is extremely impressive. Even the internal machining is just beautiful and can only be matched by its silky smooth action. CZ is known for making quality firearms and the 805 brand is no exception. The first thing I want to talk about on the gun is the charging handle. And not even so much the handle itself as what you'll experience when you first pull it. Silk, glass, butter, ice, all these things come to mind. This thing is smooth and not even, oh, this is a really nice semi-auto smooth. Imagine the finest bolt action you've ever cycled. It's that kind of smooth. I bought this thing based on the first time I pulled the charging handle back, and the rest of the experience falls right in line. The charging handle itself is nicely machined, works well, it is reversible, and does reciprocate with the bolt, and I know that some people are going to complain about this. However, if you have a malfunction, this setup works great to manipulate the bolt and clear the malfunction. Just keep your hands clear, which really shouldn't be a problem if you're holding it in any kind of conventional way. Malfunctions aren't something you're going to have to worry about though. I've been running this thing for a few months, have over a thousand rounds through it, and not even a hint of a malfunction. And by the way, haven't cleaned it either. Right from the box to the range, a thousand plus rounds, this thing is running like a sewing machine. I'm sure that one of the things that helps with this is the CZ brand 805 is piston driven. It has one setting for regular use and another for harsh conditions. I've been running it in regular the whole time without any problems. Let's talk about the muzzle brake. Aside from just looking really cool, this thing takes the recoil down to near nothing. It's really pretty much like shooting a 22 pistol in the recoil department. The upper is beautifully machined aluminum, while the lower is polymer. The grip is very nice and comfortable, and it appears that the rear panel is removable, possibly for future accessories to customize the grip. Right above the grip is the safety, and it is very similar to an AR-15 and is ambidextrous. The mag release is also right where you'd find it on an AR, with an additional one on the left side for lefties. Now there is no bolt release, you just manipulate the charging handle. There is a bolt hold open button if you need that for some reason. I know this has been a sticking point for some people, but I don't really see the big deal. If you have a charging handle right there to manipulate the bolt, why would you hit a bolt release? I 
I know personally when I'm running setups like this, even if they have a bolt release, I never hit it. The only reason I use it on an AR is because you can't quickly or easily get at the charging head. The sights are very good too. They are low profile and have four different apertures on the rear one for different yardages. There's also various sling attachment points on the firearm, but no QD mounts. However, CZ remedied this when they came out with their buffer tube adapter, which very easily installs and makes a great package even better. The adapter has a QD mount on either side, which is a nice touch. As CZ is currently importing the 805 brand, it is a pistol with an 11 inch barrel. The buffer tube adapter allows for the attachment of a stabilizing brace. This also brings about my only real complaint. My buffer tube adapter is just a little loose and has some play in it. Not that this is a big deal, but when the rest of the package is so tight, I'd like that to be as well. Magazine compatibility is exceptional. In fact, I've yet to find an AR magazine that won't work. And I know that some have reported that Troy Battle Mags won't hold the bolt open, but at least that hasn't been the case for me. It also features full length Picatinny rail on top for mounting whatever optic you might need. There's also pick rail at 6 o'clock, so you can add a hand stop or other accessories. clock on the forearm are covered by smooth panels that feel really good in the hand. They are removable, so I'm going to assume that CZ will have pick rail available for these areas if you need it. So it can't go without saying that this rifle externally and internally bears some resemblance to the FN SCAR. And to that I say, good. In my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, the FN SCAR is the best of the next gen rifles. So I'd say calling the 805 brand similar to the SCAR is nothing but a great compliment. They are similar, except in one area, and that's the price. While the 805 brand isn't cheap, it is much cheaper than the SCAR. So for those of you out there who want a SCAR, but don't want to put a second mortgage on the house, the brand might be a good solution. Let's address the other complaints that you see on the interwebs. First, it does say in the manual not to take apart the bolt. Since then though, CZ has released instructions on how to do it, and it's pretty simple. The other complaint you will see is about the front end getting hot, and I will say if you quickly run through two to three magazines, the front end will get hot. I just don't think that the average shooter will ever get it so hot that it would be a problem. All in all, these problems are very minor, if they're even an issue at all. And for what you get, this is a very noteworthy offering from CZ. Quality is not always what is put into a product, but what the consumer gets out of that product. And at least in my opinion, you get a whole lot out of the CZ805 brand. <laughs>